With some of the biggest stars and most famous characters in the world, Marvel movies are awesome. The stories are fun, the action is remarkable, and the dialogue between the characters is surprisingly funny. With tons of movies coming out each year, it can be easy to miss an important moment or two, but that's what we're here for. Enjoy this list and be sure to hit the subscribe button to get brand new Screen Rant content every single day. For this video, we're taking a look at 10 moments in Marvel superhero movies that mean more than you think. And before we start, can you guess this movie from these emojis? Stay tuned for the answer at the end of our video. Spider-Man line in Ant-Man Fans are eagerly awaiting the release of Spider-Man Homecoming in 2017, but there was a time not too long ago when bringing Spidey to the MCU was just a dream. When news broke that Spider-Man would be joining the MCU, it didn't take long for Marvel to reference him in one of their movies. While we didn't see the Web Slinger in 2015's Ant-Man, he was definitely mentioned. Near the end of the film, Anthony Mackie's Falcon mentions that he's looking for a guy with mad skills. We got a guy who jumps, we got a guy who swings, we got a guy who crawls up the walls, you gotta be more specific. This, of course, was a pretty clear allusion to Spider-Man, even if they didn't outright say his name. It was a quick moment that carried more weight than fans may have thought, as it officially confirmed that Spidey was on his way. Blind Owl in Deadpool 2016's Deadpool definitely took the entire world by storm, but with all the hype, one surprisingly important character may have slipped through the cracks. Just like in the comic books, Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool rooms with a woman named Blind Al. She's like Robin to my Batman, except she's old and black. Al is a minor character in the film, only appearing in a small number of humorous scenes. But in the comics, Al is a much more important character. Not only did Wade Wilson spare her life when he was hired to kill her in his mercenary days, but she then also acts as his guide, trying to keep him on a heroic path. On top of all that, she also serves to connect Deadpool with the rest of the Marvel Universe, as she was actually an old girlfriend of Captain America during his World War II days. Captain America's shield in Iron Man and Iron Man 2 Captain America's Vibranium Shield is one of the most iconic and recognizable items in the entire Marvel Universe. But fans with a keen eye were able to spot a prototype version of it twice before that. In Iron Man, the prototype could be seen lying around in Tony Stark's workshop. In Iron Man 2, it was seen again when it was picked up by Phil Coulson. What's this doing here? and subsequently used by Stark to prop up his homemade particle accelerator. Both of these moments can easily be missed, but for true fans that were able to catch them, they were an exciting tease at what was coming next. Gauntlet Reveal in Thor while Thor's movies may not be regarded as the best Marvel films out there, they definitely serve a purpose, and have had some pretty important moments hidden in them as well. There's a scene in the original Thor film when they're walking through Odin's mighty hall, and as they pass different artifacts on display, the Infinity Gauntlet can be seen in the distance. As we all know, this is the giant gold glove that Thanos wears in order to wield the power of all six Infinity Stones. It would make sense for Odin to have the gauntlet for safekeeping. It was revealed in the Age of Ultron mid credit scene that Thanos now has the gauntlet and is going after the stones, but the question of how he got it is still a mystery. With the presence of the gauntlet in Thor, we have to think that Loki helped Thanos in some way or another. Hi, I'm Scott. Ten Rings in Ant-Man. Back in the first Iron Man film, Tony was attacked and captured by a terrorist organization known as the Ten Rings, and fans of the comics knew that meant that the Mandarin was coming. Fast forward through all the nonsense of Iron Man 3, and fans had to think that they weren't going to hear more about the Mandarin and Ten Rings. Then, Ant-Man came along and dropped a sneaky bomb on all of us. Towards the end of the film, there was a bodyguard waiting for Darren Cross on a helipad. If you looked closely at the man, you saw that he had a neck tattoo protruding from his collar. And if you looked even closer, you could see that the tattoo was the insignia of the Ten Rings. Marvel doesn't do anything by accident, and we have to think that this means that Ten Rings, and maybe even the Mandarin, are set to return. New Captain America in Captain America Civil War in the comics, Steve Rogers isn't Captain America forever, and it's actually his pal Bucky Barnes who takes up the role after Rogers is gone. There have been many shots of Bucky wielding the shield, which has caused fans to speculate that he will become Captain America sooner or later. Many fans thought that Captain America's Civil War could end with Rogers giving up the mantle to Barnes, but we now know that to be false. That being said, Chris Evans only has a couple more movies left on his Marvel contract, whereas Sebastian Stan is signed on for eight more films. We're all very fascinated, Whitey, but we'd like to get paid. Adam Warlock Cocoon in Thor The Dark World and Guardians of the Galaxy. 
The post credits scene at the end of Thor The Dark World was really weird. While it was meant to set up Guardians of the Galaxy and the Infinity Gauntlet, it was tonally very out of place and downright bizarre, as moviegoers are introduced to the Collector and his vast collection of intergalactic oddities. One of the things hidden in this scene appears to be Adam Warlock, the perfect human who in the comics eventually made his way to space and became a very powerful cosmic being. He plays a large role in Marvel's Infinity Gauntlet comic storyline, and he actually also showed up in Guardians of the Galaxy in his cocoon form. Spider-Man Webbed Wings in Spider-Man Homecoming When it was revealed that Iron Man would be working with Spider-Man in his solo movie, fans began to theorize about what possible Stark industry tech the Web Slinger might be getting his hands on. When the trailer for Spider-Man Homecoming dropped, there was one moment that answered a lot of people's questions. The trailer showed Spider-Man with some webbed wings, and fans of the comics instantly recognized them as a big part of Spidey's history. While the wings had at first been mostly decorative, they have been more and more functional over the years, giving Spidey the ability to glide through the air with ease. Tom Holland's Spider-Man will face off against the Vulture, played by Michael Keaton in Homecoming, so it seems fitting that the Stark Design suit will give Spider-Man a little extra help against his flying nemesis. Shield's Map in Iron Man 2 the MCU is famous for dropping hints and teases for stuff years in advance, and it all started with the Iron Man franchise. There are lots of important moments like this in the films, but perhaps no instance provided more information as to Marvel's plans than this scene from Iron Man 2. As Tony Stark meets Nick Fury at the end of the film, a map can be seen in the background with red hotspots highlighted. From their positions, you can see that they seem to indicate the locations of superheroes, including one in Africa, which we now know was pointing to Wakanda, the land of Black Panther. Panther. There is another one in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, and although nothing has yet been confirmed, many fans have speculated that this is a tease for Atlantis and Namor the Submariner. Nebula in Guardians of the Galaxy Fans collectively lost their minds when Guardians of the Galaxy premiered and turned out to be one of Marvel's best movies to date. While the core crew of Guardians got most of the attention, fans should know that there was another character in the film who will be more important than they think in the coming films. Audiences could have easily forgotten Karen Gillan's Nebula, but that would be extremely foolish. Not only will she switch sides to join the titular team in the 2017 Guardians sequel, but she could also be a key character in the Infinity War movie saga. In the comic books, she plays a major role in defeating Thanos, so that could very well happen in the movies as well. So for all those casual fans who thought she was just a one-off character, think again. Hey guys, check out our friends over at CBR for fun vids about TV, movies, music, gaming, comic books, and tons of other cool pop culture stuff. And the answer to the movie emoji is... Did you get the right answer? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to Screen Rant for more fun videos like this one. Thanks for watching.